Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, man, we got an exclusive, man, exclusive interview. Hey, uh, Bodine, can you introduce yourself, bro? Let them know where they can follow you at. Man, it's your boy, Bodine BD Mix, man. Y'all can follow me on uh, Instagram. Y'all can follow me on Facebook, all that shit. TikTok, I'm on all that. Oh, no doubt, bro. And uh, let them know where you're from, bro. You're originally man, from. I'm from I'm from the I'm from the northwest side of Chicago. Okay, gotcha. I'm from gotcha. the northwest side of Chicago, but I got a I I got a lot of a lot of home loops down in the A too. So you can say I, I I was born here. I was born in born in Iraq, raised in the A. No, oh, no doubt, bro. How did you uh start to get into music? Man, I all my people's was rap. Like my cousin and all them. Like when I was younger, my cousin, my cousin A.R. Luton had a little rap group. Like him and his homies was always rapping. So I was always in the studio with them. Cause I used to always want to be around my older cousin. So one day I started rapping and me and my little brother Kong, we used to fuck around. Like we used to go to parties and just freestyle. And next thing you know, we started taking this shit serious. Gotcha. What form of music did you start first? Like engineering, making beats, rapping? No, nah, I started rapping. Like I started rapping. I was doing I was trying to find my lane. I didn't really have a lane. Like I was just testing the waters a little bit everywhere. Engineering came down the line when I got tired of motherfucker taxing me on studio time and they wasn't trying to help. I got you. So what like doing this time frame, how old you say you is when you first start? Um what when I first started rapping or taking yeah, professional? Rapping. When you first started, like when you first recorded your first song, my first song, I was like nineteen. Got you. And I recorded that song accidentally. Like to be honest, me and my homie was just in the studio fucking around. And I didn't even know he was recording me. And I was just in the booth wilding out. Like I was just talking some shit. Like we pulled up to the studio at like nine o'clock in the morning with a bottle of Hennessy, just talking shit. Did and people that was take my you, first song, and I was like, "Damn, I'm gonna try this shit some more." Did they take you serious off top? Like, man, you should keep doing this. Like, make more songs or man, a couple of my homies like... just took like a couple of my homies took it serious. Like, a couple of my homies were like, "Damn, for you, like you, you really like you really be talking your shit and the shit you saying bogus as hell. Like, you you hurting motherfuckers' feelings and the worst part about it is you doing relationship songs hurting people. You Bodine as hell. So ever since then, the name Bodine stuck with me. Oh, that's where that name Bodine came. Yeah, from. the name Bodine came because I, I I forgot me we did a song and like it was a heartbroken ass song. Like my little brother had got into it with his girl. And we did a song and I said something about choking her with some sheets or some shit. And my homie's like, damn for you Bodine is hell. Like out of all the shit you could have said, you said choking with some sheets. I like Bodine. I think that's the that's my new rap name. We're gonna do he's like how you what you mean? I like B-O. Capital D E A E. He like that's a different way of spelling now. Like exactly, but you can still hear what I'm talking about here. Why are you emphasizing it though? Like, cause I'm Bodine as hell. Like, we doing dumb shit. Y'all gonna know who I am. I had to make it so that that always stick with me. So Bodine was just Bodine was my name. And then when I started engineering, I started engineering like. I can't have Bodine mix in parentheses on the side. Like that shit look, that shit half the fucking title. So I had shortened it down to BD mix. So that way people still knew it was me. But at the same time, like when they see it and they already know the name, they're like, damn, this nigga, wait, that's the same nigga that be rapping. So I always, I always kept those two together and it just stuck. Like uh, just something that stuck with me. And like with that name, you know, you being from Chicago and the BDs, you know, in Chicago, it's if people ever think that that's what you was trying to represent with that. Man, I get that shit all the time, bro. And that shit has nothing to do with nothing. That's just fucking speculators and people trying to say something. That shit ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Like I, I really don't have no BD homies. Like I really be into it with them. Like I, I really be into it and ain't even like I really got personal beef with some of them. Not all of them. I can't say all of them. But I do got personal beef with some. And and being affiliated with who I'm affiliated, of course, man, fuck them niggas. That's just how I stand on that. I know it was rumors on the internet. They were saying that um you had worked with I guess some OTF artists in the past. I is have it, is it true. I I, I have. And I, who was that? Like, who, who, what okay, artists so when you I first with? started engineering, right? 
Like, I didn't always know everybody from 63rd. I didn't always know everybody. I, I'm an engineer. So when I first started, I was I was working with Paris Bueller. And this is like 2015, 2016. Like, that far back. You feel me? So, like, I was an engineer. I worked with everybody. When I, when I locked in with Duck, like, I knew what came with that. Everybody knows, like, come on, man, we from Chicago. When it comes to that beef shit, it don't, don't nobody give a fuck who you work with or how cool you motherfuckers gonna make you choose a side whether you like it or not and if you don't even if you don't the internet gonna put you on the side right so, right so you feel me me knowing what i know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put myself in no harm's way so i slowly you know some some ties you gotta cut sometimes it's not worth shit so have i worked on otf before yeah because i was working with billy i like and a lot of people that don't know that, oh, well, he worked on Reese. A lot of people didn't watch that interview thoroughly to hear that, to hear me say that that session wasn't booked by me. Oh, I got you called. Did. Oh, I got so tell us, tell us about it. I got called. So I used to work with, I used to work with my homie A. Rab Luciano in Chicago. Y'all could YouTube him. He got some songs with Rick Ross. All of them. I used to work with him and his brother. We were sharing a studio, right? So I was the only, basically, I was the only engineer. They were just. They was putting half of the bread so that way I could record their people too. So at that time, I was already working with FYB, with FYB Trigger, FBG Butter. Like, we already got a lot of motherfuckers from Tukaville coming in there. So I'm already knowing what time it is. Plus, I got a portrait of Duck on me. Like, for a lot of you, I got a big ass portrait of Duck. You feel me? It says, yeah, you, you see it, yep. You feel me? It says long live duck. You feel me? So it ain't nothing I hide in this the middle of the summertime. I'm wearing motherfucking Dago tees. So my homie called me. He like, hey, look, I got, a, I got a little party going on in the studio. They need an engineer. Can you pull up on me? Me being the person that I am, benefit of the doubt. Y'all supposed to be my homies. All right, cool. Let's, let's chop it up. Let's go. I pull up to the studio before we even walk in. Now, mind you, I don't ever go nowhere by myself when it comes to situations like that. I always keep two of my heavies with me. We walk up to the door, bro. Stops me downstairs, bro. Before you go upstairs, I need you. I need you to know I got Reese in here. He looking for an engineer. They just trying to get some songs in. They know who you are. They cool. Man, I ain't. All right, cool. Let, let me get this little bread out. You feel me? Rent coming around the corner for we got a big ass studio in the middle of downtown Des mm -hmm. Illinois. That bitch ain't cheap. So of course I go upstairs. I tell bro all back. Me and Reese pull each other to the side. We in the studio. We chopping it up. Reese told me for I know you work with them guys. I'm not trying to be your homie. We not trying to be cool. You good at what you do for I know you before that shit. I just need to get a song recorded real quick for you could go about your way. We not even we not even talking about none of that. Cool. The man handed me my bread. I handed it over because, like I said, I had rent due that day. Handed the bread over. Boom. Got that session done. So the people would be like, oh, well, everybody knows your studio. At. Everybody knew that studio. I've been away from that studio ever since that session because right then and there, like, you can't. You automatically know, no matter what a motherfucker tell you, you can read people. And rather, if a motherfucker was going to do something that night, or a motherfucker was going to come back, I'm not taking no chances like that. So I got my shit, and I got up out of there. I feel you. Because at feel the end of the day, I fuck with FYB Trigger was my dog. Like, that's my boy. He brought me around a lot of motherfuckers, which made Cash reach out to me and say, look, come on, I want you to come record with me. So the studio that we work at is a private location. Don't nobody know this spot. Don't nobody know where the hell I be at whatsoever, Joe. Half let the me, time, the city don't even know when I'm in the city. I, let me before before I get there, I, I want to uh, bring that back. But so when you working with you know you working with FBG Duck, right? You doing some of his mixes, right? Was you working with any other um, FBG artists at the time, or was just specifically FBG? I Duck? Was, to be honest, I, like me and Duck, we was more on the kick it. We was more on the kick it tip because he was always cool with my brother Murph. Him and my brother Murph and Damo Cash was always cool. That's how I got linked in with them. So a lot of times we were just kicking it. I got you. And um, like now moving forward, you know, RIP FBG Duck. 
you know, now you got cash. Was you right there when, before he started, like with his new sound? Was you the one who got yeah. that new sound out there? I, I was, I was the one that, I was the one that was helping encourage that new sound. All the new songs that you he recorded, a lot of the, something different, right? When far as like the flow, you know, even the the the, the beats the that was flow, the whole the whole sound of the recording, we were like we went down the whole process of that one. Like I'm glad to be a part of that history. Like I I'm proud to know that my mixes helped Cash get a lot of the shit that he was doing. That's the reason why he had me with him all the time and on an everyday basis. Anytime Cash was going out of town, hey Bodine, come on for I need you, I need you to come jump on the plane with me. I need an engineer with me. It wasn't no secret. We always did that. That was just these last couple of times I couldn't make because I, at the end of the day, I'm a family man. I still got a wife and kids at home. I got you. And like, you know, moving forward now, you know, FBG Cash, he loses his life. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you heard now, but it's been in the news that it was something behind some Apple Air Tags. Have you heard about that? Man, as far as what's going on, bro, we really don't, we really ain't ever going to know unless his people really come out and tell us because they're the ones that have all the, all the, like, the death reports and police reports. And, like, honestly, bro, I don't know what to believe on the internet because there's been so much fool shit and people trying to be internet detectives that they don't fucked it up for the, for the real shit that's going out there next to the fake shit. No, definitely, definitely, definitely. And, like, you know, you being attacked by like you be, that being your friend and you helping even you know my, that wasn't my sound. friend that was that was my brother like yeah you, your brother we so like you together all get the to time. that sound right you helping them get to that sound and you know he loses his life and then the internet start to attack you how, how did that make you feel man I was already I was already blue for the fact like I still couldn't grieve I was still didn't even get a chance to grieve over FYB trigger. Like I still that one didn't even really process all the way. Like I didn't get a chance to really grieve over that, and to lose my dog like a week later, like that's a whole new level of hurt right there. You feel me? And then not only that, not I'm like I'm hurt, but I got teenagers that 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 love cash like an uncle that calling me, wondering what's going on, and I don't have the answers to them because they don't. Just like any other kid, they want to know what happened to their uncle. Feel me? Like. That that it was it was deeper than rap. So like, I ain't gonna lie. I just now started coming back around to start doing shit again. Like, I, that shit that shit really fucked me up because they played like I play with my life enough every day with, with the shit I do. Like my life is my life is always being played with, especially just just me being who I am. But for the internet to go do some shit like that, like that really fucked me up because man, that was my brother. We did a lot of a lot of the shit that I'm doing now. If it wasn't for cash, I wouldn't be able to do it. And mind you, I've been around some big names in my city. And ain't none of them did what cash did for me. You feel me? Like we was gone. Like that's all I like that's the only way I can sit there and think of it. Like every time I come back to it, I we was out of here. We was gone. Like we we was he cash was bringing everybody, everybody that was a part of his campaign and put in work in his campaign, he was bringing them with him. That's dope. That's real stand up. What was his like? What was his recording process, bro? Like when 